have some really great ideas about how to make ourselves look youthful and glowing with beautiful skin and we're going to get into that right now. This video is showcasing some absolutely fantastic cream products that I found. I am on a cream product binge. I am in love with them. I love the way that they make my skin just very youthful looking. You know, as we age, sometimes when we use powders, they can make us look a little bit more dry and that dryness can in turn make us look much older than we are. And I have just absolutely fallen in love with different products that are cream products. I have a great roundup here. I have from Claire, from high end, Claire down to drugstore that are just a few dollars, which I can't wait to show you. But I really think that one of the reasons that recently I've gotten so many comments on how good my skin looks is because of cream products. I've really made kind of a switch over. I love my, my blushes still, I love my highlighters still, but I really do love the look of a cream product. How soft it is on the skin, how it can really be blended out without be looking patchy at all. And it makes my mature skin just look healthy and glowy. And I really attribute a lot of what's been going on with my skin to using a lot more cream products. So Hi, Ollie. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go over all of these cream products. I have a lot, and we're just gonna dive right into it right now. One of the things I wanna talk about that I'm not gonna to touch on super a super lot is color correctors. I had a couple from the drugstore that I was using so faithfully for such a long time, the LA Color and the Maybelline, but I found as I was aging, they were getting just a little bit too dry, so I went on the hunt for ones that were much creamier. And for high end, I did find Charlotte Tilbury and Tarte. Now both of these come in different colors so that's really cool about them that you don't have to just stick with one color. The Charlotte Tilbury is I think this is the light medium or maybe even the medium so that's kind of a medium peach and then the Tarte this one is a bit lighter but it's very peach as well and what's great about peach on your skin is that it will counteract that purple or that blue because orange is across the color wheel from blue and we want to counteract those purple or those blue circles so these are wonderful they are high end they are very creamy um, i know that they cost a little bit more so i went on the hunt for you and i did find the one from nyx i did do a video specifically on how this dupes out the Charlotte Tilbury one. And there are a bunch of other colors in here that I'm not gonna touch on today, but again, I will make sure that I link that video below. And since I did that video, I actually have found the Pixie by Petra Color Corrector 2. This one is very creamy and very beautiful, just like those other two are. This is almost an exact dead-on dupe for that Tarte one that I showed you. It's so beautiful and it plays so well underneath the eyes and doesn't leave that dryness behind because as we age, we do get that dry, crepey skin underneath there so important to stick with products that, that do lean towards cream instead of something something that is drier excuse me so those were great and i definitely wanted to put them in this video talking about cream products for the over 40 woman and this little critter down here is lacy come here girl come here baby this is my other dachshund and she doesn't get shown very much on camera because she's pretty chill and what you're seeing her look at right now is a bowl full of popcorn she loves my food and that's all she really wants is just for mama to pick her up and uh, give her something to eat. So yeah, this is Lacey. She's my sweet girl and she's a little bit of a toad. She always thinks she's hungry. So we try really hard to make sure she has really healthy snacks, huh? Gotta have those veggies, yeah. <laughs> Another couple of cream products that I cannot live without are cream pencils, but these are different in that these only go into the waterline. I'm not talking about, you know, eyeliners. You know, I love a good eyeliner too, but these are nude pencils. And the reason I thought they were so great to put in this video is because they do help with the aging, the look of aging mature eyes. When you put these into the waterline, your eye immediately opens up and brightens up, especially if you have a lot of redness around the rim of your eye or if they're dark. And this one is the brow highlighter from Wet n Wild. I use this all year long, but just a little bit ago, 
I did get sent some things from Flower Beauty and they sent me this one, which is another brightener, but this one is a pencil that is a coal pencil. And as you can see, one is kind of pink and then the other one, hopefully you can see that, the other one is very creamy, very ivory. And what I really love about this pen pencil is not only is it an automatic pencil, but it has a tendency to last a lot longer than the Wet n Wild one. I like them both. The Wet n Wild one is great for doing a crust, you know, giving your eyebrow a little bit of a lift. Let's do that right now. So you just take that pencil, you just line a little bit into that eyebrow and then just blend it out a tiny bit and you immediately have a little bit more of a lift to your eyes. Um, I usually do that a little bit before I do my eyeshadow, but this is a really great pencil as well as the Flower Beauty that I put into my waterline. One of the things that I talk about all the time on my channel is the ColourPop Super Shock formula. And the reason that I do is I think I just kind of glommed onto them because they started out about the same time that I started my channel about six years ago. It might have been a little bit before that, when, but I found them about six years ago. So I want to tell you about the Super Shock eyeshadow. A lot of people have kind of mixed feelings about these. I personally love them. They stay on like a dream. Today I have the one as my transition and built up just a little bit into the crease color as well. And that is the color Bill, which is right here. This is a very soft muted mauve tone and it is beautiful on any color eyes. I don't care what color eyes you have. This is a gorgeous tone because it does help eyes look brighter. And as you can see, here's the other two of them. The one that is teal, that is called Banana Daiquiri. That is right there. Such a beautiful, bright color. Gorgeous on the lid if you wanted to wear it across the lid. And then the one that is purple, that's actually a matte purple. And Bill is a matte color as well, that mauve tone. But this one is called Daddy. And these are the three that I have right now because I recently went through my collection. I got rid of a lot that were dried up. But I love, love, love this formula. It is such a good formula. Just make sure you kind of tighten that down really tight so that they don't dry out. One thing is, is that if, even when they do dry out, unless you've had them for a really long time and you're worried about them expiring, is any sort of kind of a fluffy brush will glom onto them, even if they're a little bit dried out and you can just continue to work with them. And if you really, really find that it's hard to use them, try a sponge tip applicator. Remember those we used to get in in our L'Oreal or our Maybelline little quads for our eyeshadows, try one of those. They really do work really well. And these are so good. Now let's just continue to talk about these ColourPop Super Shock formulas. And I promise you there are so many other things in this video. Please hang in with me. I know you've heard about these forever, but the highlighters that are from them is the most beautiful cream highlighter. I absolutely love it. Flexitarian is a very champagne looking highlighter and it is extremely high beam. And these are just an absolute dream on mature skin because they don't have any like glitter particles or you know show up texture they're just a gorgeous sheen and then this one is smoke and whistles and smoke and whistles is just a little bit more I would say that it's just a little bit more on the subtle side. So if you're looking for a highlighter that isn't this high beam, Smoke and Whistles is one that looks so beautiful on the skin. And they just absolutely are a dream when they go across your cheeks when you are a mature woman because they really can blend in and meld with the skin because they're that cream product. But they last a really long time and that's what's beautiful about them. And then I have three of the Super Shock blushes. We're not gonna spend a Lot of time on this either because I've kind of explained to you all about the formula. So the one on the bottom is called Between the Sheets. This is a very beautiful cross between pink and peach. And then the one just up from that is called Prenup. That is a very rosy pink color, almost a blue toned color on that one. And then the one on the very top is called Count Me In. And this is the gorgeous coral peach color. And these are so good. They just grip the cheeks and they last all day and they look absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's move on to something else. All right, going back to the eyes, Sydney Grace stole my heart with her liquid or cream eyeshadows. They come in this two 
tube like this. I do have this one right here on my lid and all across the lid. And this one is called, I'm gonna have to grab my glasses. That one is called Down the Coast. And then the purple one is called Wish. You need such a very teeny tiny bit of this product to go such a long ways. And I can see the, the I can see that these would last a really long time. They are gorgeous, gorgeous products. So their one is down the coast and that's the one I have on my lid again, and then Wish, and they are beautiful. They can be built up more if you want more color or they can be sheared out just a little. Let me show you what they are like, sheared out. So this down here would be a little bit more sheer. That would be built up beautiful. They are so much like one of my very favorites from Stila. Now you can find Stila a lot at like Marshall's. I've got a rogue hair going through my eyes here. Sorry about that. At Marshall's, TJ Maxx, sometimes at Ross, depending on the Ross store, you can find the Stila Shimmer Liquid eyeshadows and this one is in kitten and this is one of my very favorite colors and my very favorite formula for the same reason as the sydney grace they just outperform anything i've tried a lot of the eyeshadows that i have tried before they actually feel very dry when they finally dry down and that is not the case with these two brands at all i really love how long they last and I love that you can get them on there and they don't show up a bunch of texture on mature skin, maybe like a powder might. You know, a powder, it just looks drying. So these do not, they're beautiful. A and quick note on this illuminating primer from Physicians Formula. I think this is so pretty, it's called Spotlight. It's very much like the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, but what I like about this one is I don't wear it as a primer. I wear this as a topper on top of my blushes or right underneath my blushes to give a subtle glow. Look at the glow on that. And it just is just a candlelight incandescent look. There's no high beam on that whatsoever. You can stipple this just a little bit over your blush if you want to, but my favorite way is to wear it right underneath my blush over top of my foundation, but underneath my blush to give just a subtle glow. And as far as that glow goes, today I have on this cream highlighter from Koki Cosmetics, and I think this one is called Heavenly. I'm not sure, let me get my glasses here really quick. This one is called Rosy. Heavenly, I think, is the one that is a little bit more of a goldish tone but this one has kind of a mauvey look to it it's kind of pinkish mauve hopefully you will be able to see that right there and it's the perfect pairing with blush because what it does is it just illuminates your blush without having a different tone so you have this pinkish or rosy tone underneath your blush that just melts with it so pretty so this can be worn very easily over top or again underneath which is my favorite thing and it is what i have underneath my blush today there isn't anything on top of the blush giving that glow it's underneath it and it just really brings it out and just makes it so pretty and i love this one from uh, koki cosmetics because it is so creamy and so lovely now Fenty Beauty came out bombshells with their cream blushes and their cream bronzers. I really love both of these formulas. They're so creamy. Here's Smuckers. I guess everybody's going to make an appearance with me today. This is Smuckers. Anyway, this one is her cream blush. And again, I can't read these. I don't know why I don't keep my glasses on. This one is called Cool Berry and it's the most beautiful kind of a mauvey berry color i love this and these hug your cheeks so well this one is so mauve and so pretty i love this blush color it's really gorgeous and i did just recently talk about in a favorites this cream um, bronzer but it isn't a bronzer it is a contour color it is so muddy and so gorgeous i love the way that this just again it melts so gorgeous into mature skin you're not going to have any texture show up you're going to just have that beautiful shadow that is a, a contour and it's just super blendable it's super creamy it's lovely lovely on mature skin and again i will re refer you to that video i have a bunch of them down below that i will talk a little bit more in depth about some of these products but these cream products from fenty beauty are 
beautiful, beautiful products. And I'm so glad that I jumped on that train. Now, what started everybody going nutso is the Patrick Ta blushes this year. Everybody was just really into them. I'm no exception. The reason is because everything was done backwards and everybody was talking about it. So you put your powder blush on and then you put on top of it this cream blush. And I haven't even dived into this one yet. This one is the one that I've had for a while and it has been used like crazy. But you put that powder blush on first and then you go over top of it with the cream and it is bulletproof after that. I don't know why people haven't been doing powder before cream for a long time. If you just missed my video, that video is on fire right now and I couldn't be happier. But basically that is what that video talks about, how to put a powder product on first and a cream on top of it. And it is so good. It's actually how I've done everything that I've done today. So let's dip into this one. Here is the powder from this one. Oh, by the way, this one is called She's That Girl. That's that pink one I have on. And then the one that I'm going to put down right now, this one is called Oh, She's Different. And I'm going to stick my finger into it. I love the both of these. I love how he separated these too. The cream product has a protector. So that powder product is not going to get in there and make a mess at all. And look at both of those, they're so pretty. They create a subtle flush, just like you're blushing, and they are just absolutely gorgeous, and I love both of them. But I do realize that not everybody can afford that high price tag, so I really wanted to bring things that could be close to that. And I did find a couple that I'm really, really excited about. One of them is from Honest Beauty. I just happened to be seeing this on, I think it was on Amazon one time when I was going across there. And they do have a lot of colors. The the colors are great in how vibrant they are. And look, isn't it pretty? It is just the most beautiful pinky coral color. And I think it's gorgeous. This is the exact consistency of the Patrick Ta blushes, the exact. And I love these. They just last a really long time. They're really good for mature skin as well. And also I was sent these Flower Beauty new ones that look like little mini deodorants that you could use. And these are great too. I now, will say that these are really close in their consistency. Maybe just a little bit more sheer than the Patrick Ta ones, but I do like them very much. And I do think if you use that method of putting the powder on first and then the cream on top of it, you're gonna have something that is budge proof and that does really great. These are, again, a little bit more sheer than other blushes that I have in this lineup. There are quite a few that I probably would reach for a little bit more over these, but if you're somebody that likes a very soft, flush, a very natural look to your face. These, these are really good for that. And you really just need to use a stipple brush and they go on so pretty. I would really recommend that you put any sort of a cream product on with a stipple brush. And I'll just show you this one that I have from It Cosmetics. Well, it's It Brushes for Ulta. And you can use any sort of a cream product with this. You can use any brush you want to. You can use your fingers. You can use a sponge, whatever you want to. This is just my preferred way of using these. So the next one that I'm going to talk about are the new putty blushes from e.l.f. I love these. And I wanted to demonstrate this to you with the stipple brush really quick. I have three colors. Can't see the colors on them whatsoever. I'm looking. I can't find them. But I know that they're on the side here, so I'll make sure that I link them for you. I'm going to just kind of swatch these for you. So that first one is a beautiful berry color. This next one is a pretty bubblegum pink color. And then the last one, I will swatch it, but I will also do it with a stipple brush for you. So let me go ahead and put that one on there. So that one, last one's like a coral one, but they are gorgeous done with the stipple brush. So let's see if I can get this for you. And we're just going to put it right here. And look how subtle and pretty that glow is. And then you can build it up if you want to as well and just continue on in there. But look how beautiful that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? And that is kind of what a stipple brush does. It just gives that beautiful soft flush. So that is that color down there, but we switched it out and we did it in the stipple brush for you. And this putty formula, I think Milani came out with one at the same time. Flower Beauty came out with those that I just showed you. This is my preferred one of all three of those. And then my good friend Mandy from Mandy Lee's channel, she talked about these blushes and I was like, oh my goodness. Now the Mac is the glow play one. Let me see what color this one is. So, you know, this one is called blush, please. This is a very, very neutral blush. Oh my word. This is like 
your cheeks but better you know lips but better that kind of thing this is the most soft natural blush i have seen in a long time the cream formula is outstanding i absolutely love that but these bare minerals bounce and blur ones they are every bit as beautiful now this formula i'll say the mac one is a little bit more stiff a little bit more on the sides of the putty that the elf are and this is a little bit more on the side of kind of that flower beauty one that we were talking about and that one is called mauve sunrise so beautiful oh my gosh that's so pretty mauve sunrise is what i have on my cheeks today and i really love it it's just a beautiful color and then flower beauty has their flower bombs i really like cream blushes delivered this way it's not exactly a cream as those other ones were more it were this is kind of more along the lines of a liquid this is your definite bubblegum pink but this can give you a super sheer wash of color you can build it up again you kind of have to let it dry in between it's but not so pretty and this stays on so well and the color i love this bubblegum color it is definitely a blue based pink and i love it and i just wanted to make sure i talked about that and then lastly i want to talk about stick formulas and I have several and one of those is a higher-end one. This is from Jouer These are so pretty if you want to wear them as your blush or if you want to wear them as Your cheeks and this is the blush and bloom uplift cheek duo and these have a little Stoppers on them actually the milk makeups do too. So you're not going to run into well I have this all dried out now It's a cream product as long as you make sure that when you're done with it You just put that little cap back on there and then on the other side so that one side was more along the lines of pink and then this side is more along the lines of a nude blush little tiny bit of coral in there peach in there oh my word isn't that beautiful both of them so very creamy so very blendable beautiful colors for your cheeks or for your lips absolutely gorgeous but if you can't afford that price tag some of my favorite ones are one from la girl love this velvet blush this again is the stick formula very much like that jouet formula maybe just again a little bit more sheer maybe one that you might want to build up i really love this one it's so pretty and then my very favorite at the drugstore of all of the blushes that are the cream blushes are these elf multi sticks and i've talked about them over and over again and this one is in dazzling peony or peony whichever you choose my grandma said peony so that's what i say but um, that one is kind of a coral pink color and this one is um i think it's rosy shimmer if it's not i will make sure i um correct that for you above but these two colors are so like this blush right here just absolutely the identical formula of course a little bit different colors the two of them are but these are the exact formula as the jouet one is and yeah you can definitely save yourself a lot of money here but i love this one too because like i said they're so beautiful for lips or cheeks either one but let me just really quickly just run this across my lips and you can see that the formula is so pretty even for lips it's just gorgeous so that is it that is my roundup that is a lot but i did definitely want to bring you as many of the cream products that i'm absolutely in love with as i could thanks for being here with me tell me your favorite cream products in the description box below if you would i always love to run out and buy whatever you guys tell me are good things because i can't wait to try them you guys all have a great day Take care of yourselves. Please stay healthy. And I love you very much. Catch you in my next video. Bye, friends.